Hi, I'm Kadam Schuber. I'm here with Neil deGrasse Tyson, astrophysicist who's visiting from New York. And we're at the planetarium at the Royal Observatory Greenwich. And Neil, you're going to tell us about the night sky. Yeah, yeah, whatever you want to know. Uh, so right now we're, we happen to be facing north. And one of the easiest set of stars to identify are the seven that comprise what we call the Big Dipper. And so they're right here. There's seven stars. There's three uh, that make the handle and then there are four that make the cup. And typically you connect the dots and you get uh, this shape. I think in the UK it was called the wheelbarrow, I think. Yeah, what, what is a Big Dipper? I... Yeah, so, so first it's actually large on the sky. So it's, to call it big is justified. And it's called a dipper because in fact, the two stars on the lip of this, of this cup point to the North Star itself, which is right there, okay? okay? Now, the North Star, by the way, it's not the brightest star in the night sky. Oh. If nine out of 10 people you stop on the street, you say, what's the brightest star in the, they'll, they'll, You say the North Star. They'll tell you the North Star. It's the only star anyone no knows. <laughs> knows. It must be the brightest. So the North Star is not in the top 10. I calculated this, it's the 49th brightest star in the night sky. So it's just in the top, it's made it into the top 50. It, is it, it's in the top 50, but it's nowhere near what many people think it is. Now, it's the fact that you can find the Big Dipper and you see the pointer stars, there's no other star in a large swath of the sky that rivals the brightness of Polaris. Okay. So it should be pretty easy to find. So you, you find Polaris because it's north and it's, there, there aren't a lot of sort of bright no, stars. No, you find around. Polaris because you look for the Big Dipper. Oh, and the big, right. if you don't otherwise know which way north is, the seven stars of the Big Dipper are pretty easy to find. Okay. okay? So you do that, and then you follow it, and then you get Polaris. Okay. Yeah. So now here's something interesting. The Earth's pole, north pole, the Earth's axis points to Polaris. It points there. So that means as we rotate, all the stars will appear to revolve around Polaris like some kind of a pinwheel. So what that means is if we trudge north, then Polaris will get higher and higher in the sky until we hit, met Santa Claus, and then Polaris would be straight overhead, and it would be at an elevation of 90 degrees, a right angle straight up. So on the North Pole, Polaris is right above your head. Right above your head. So the elevation of Polaris above the horizon is your mm. latitude. Okay. So if I was uh, at sea, yes. And and I needed to know where I was. It would have to be clear and at night, but go on. <laughs> <laughs> I would, uh, I'd look for Pol I'd look for the Big Dipper, yeah. and then I'd look for Polaris, yes. and then I'd say I'm at And then you measure its latitude. altitude above. And then I'd find America or something. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you can, you can hug a latitude on Earth by just keeping Polaris at the same elevation above the horizon. Now, I'm going to show you, if we, uh, if we clock time now, uh, what you'll see is Polaris will stay approximately stationary and all of these stars will revolve around Polaris. So if we can start, yeah, so here we go. And take a look at the blurring of the oh, starlight. Yeah. Yeah. A great effect, by the way. <laughs> so this is what it would look like if you took a time-lapse photo, okay? And what you have is the rotation of the sky. The farther away you are from Polaris in angle, the longer is your streak. But all the angles are the same because the whole Earth is turning as a solid object. So now I want you to notice, at, if we continue this for 24 hours, the Big Dipper would come around, okay, and dip down here and not set. Okay. That's why it's called the Dipper, the Big Dipper. Oh, it's called the Dipper because it moves. Yeah, well, well, they all move, but watch them come around. So it's going to come around, so here it is. There we go. And it's going to come about right here, not set, and then keep going up. Okay. So there's a section of the sky, as seen from London, that never sets. And we have a term for that. They're called circumpolar stars. Circumpolar meaning? Yeah, that they go around the pole, and they never set. So now here's the thing. These are what we call asterisms. They're things that kind of look like what they're supposed to be. Okay. But an asterism is only the most interesting set of stars within a larger set of stars that makes the constellation itself. That was, uh, that was amazing. Uh, thank you so much, Neil, for this experience. It's a universe that belongs to us all. Yeah.